I'm Sam, I'm 16 and from the South Wales Valleys. Recently, I've been part of some really exciting workshops talking about what the future holds for youth arts in Wales. I've been asked to tell you my youth arts journey, so here it is. When I was younger, I was interested in drama, dance and music. Growing up, I attended drama sessions weekly. The drama sessions were building my confidence and helped me meet new people. However, I had to stop going because the community centre ran out of money, so the drama sessions were forced to stop. We're very sorry, Sam, but no more drama for you. There was a new drama group set up in the next village, but Mam said it was too expensive for me to go there. Sorry, Sam. We just can't afford it. With no more drama club, I felt a bit lost. I was left dancing in my room on my own. I would hear stories from school friends about the new drama club I couldn't afford to attend. It sounded really fun, and they would always say how much of a good time they had. Drama was so much fun last week. Sad you couldn't be there, Sam. <laughs> I felt isolated and alone. I was left to question why it was so unfair I couldn't be part of the group. I really missed creating and performing. My mum came across an advert for the youth arts development sessions on social media. Sam, this would be a good opportunity. You can meet new people who also enjoy the arts. Also, it's free to sign up. Mum was right. The sessions allowed me to meet new people and talk to big arts organisations like National Youth Arts Wales and Youth Arts Network Cymru. I felt nervous attending on my own online, but all the youth arts facilitators made me feel at ease straight away. Hey guys, it's lovely to meet you all. Uh, you're on mute. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Hey guys, it's lovely to meet you all. I met people who could speak other languages like Welsh and BSL, people who have different cultures, people who enjoy different kinds of art like poetry and juggling. It was amazing. Everyone was welcome. We played games and got asked serious questions. I felt like my voice was heard. Someone said, I think conversation is great, but we are a nation of talkers and sometimes we can get wrapped up in talking about things and action is always great too. I thought that was right because you can't do a play without action. After my second workshop, we came up with a plan to save youth thoughts in Wales. This plan was called Key Recommendations. I was so excited about the next steps. I ran downstairs to tell my mum all about it. Sam, you're excitable. How were the workshops? Over a cup of tea, I told my mum about how we decided as young people with the big organisations what we thought were the main things we wanted. Do you want a biscuit? Oh, yeah, please. Anyway, the first thing we wanted was a youth network. This would mean I could connect with other young people and organisations in different parts of Wales. I could get support from mentors, advice on career pathways and training opportunities in the arts, paid opportunities when I become a young emerging artist, support on funding, and there will be more platforms to champion me as a young Welsh artist. The network will be bilingual and accessible to all. This will give me a chance to make friends with people who are different from me. Well, that's really good. How will people find out about it? Social media, arts organisations can let young people know. Also, the network can work with schools, colleges, university and community centres. I'll tell all my friends about it. The second thing we wanted were our voices heard as young people. Who do you want to hear your voice? Well, like the Arts Council of Wales. Are they the ones with all the power? Pretty much. How would you get them to listen? Well, I think a youth board or steering group can help with getting our voice heard. This is just a group of people who are part of making the decisions with the big organisations. Is that something you would be a part of? Yeah, but also I could represent an organisation and sit on the board with the Arts Council of Wales as a young person, so I'm really involved with all of the conversation. But would that mean you're left to fix the problems on your own? No, it's not down to us. The young people should not be appointed to fix the youth arts problem. The future of youth arts should be a responsibility that should be shared across all levels equally. Something else that would help the problem is ring-fenced funding. What's ring-fenced funding? It's money that is there specifically for youth arts, like a youth arts funding pot. It means that organisations can apply to keep youth arts alive and thriving. If this was around, my drama club might not have been shut down. Also, there could be a chance young people could apply directly for money. You could do your own drama then. Exactly. But the most important thing is this money will be accessible to apply for. Like the language I use shouldn't stop me from being successful with my application. No, of course not, Sam. It is lovely to see you excited about the arts again. I feel like having that strong network around you of like-minded people who are very supportive 
Everyone deserves the opportunity to participate in the arts, whether for fun or for a career. I'm so proud of you, Sam. Young people need a platform to share their voice. After telling Mama all about the Youth Arts Development Workshops, I did a presentation in school about something I am passionate about. Quiet now. Sam's up next. Welcome to my presentation on Youth Arts. Here are the mid- and long-term goals. There should be more workshops to hone ideas and implement a Youth Arts Network for young people and a group to feed into the Arts Council of Wales decision-making process. There should be opportunities for young people to apply for funding directly with the right support. There should be an accessible application process where artists and organisations can apply in a creative and fun way with no complicated language. Through my youth arts journey, I was listened to and my needs were supported. I'm excited to be writing my own script and developing ideas for my future in the arts. Working with like-minded people, telling our stories.